Hello guys, what's going on? Luke here from the Minecraft Networks bringing you a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft server. First thing you want to do is download the server. You want to go to minecraft.net dash download and find this here minecraftserver.jar. You want to download it just by clicking on it and finding where you want to download it. I actually want to pull it into my Minecraft folder which I've just made which is here and then you just want to click save. And that's it, you got the server. That's not it, you can open it let it load and it's going to make a load of files you're going to need to edit these files after next thing you want to do you want to copy this here which will be in the description so you don't have to copy it oh the server's now open right, once you first open it you want to click unblock this is just your file it's going to ask you for your permissions you just want to click continue there and that's going to unblock it first thing here is preparing the map like generating the map doing all the biomes and everything might as well wait for this so it's making these files here your computer might start going slow when you have the server open for the first time because it has to generate a load of stuff and see it's almost done right, now it says it's done that took 34 seconds but that's irrelevant now what you want to do is click in here and click type stop and that's going to stop the server. It's going to save all the chunks and everything. Right now, on here, you have these files. You have the uh, server.properties. You want to open this. If it doesn't open, and it just asks you what to open it with, you want to right click and click open with. And then you want to find notepad. And this is going to be all your files. Well done. This is the maximum amount of plays you want in the thing. This is the game mode, which goes from 1 to 2, 1 being creative and 0 being survival. Here's your difficulty 0 being easy, 1 being. No, 0 being peaceful, 1 being easy, 2 be, being medium, and 3 being hard. This is your PvP, which is killing other players. This is. You don't really want to know about this. This is if you want animals to spawn. This is if it's whitelist. This is if you want NPCs to spawn. And this is your max uh, build height. I just leave it like that, doesn't really matter. This is server IP, you don't really need to change that. The level seed, you should know what that is. Uh, this is what we want, the server port. You can change this to whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it for that, I'm just going to copy it so I don't forget. This is your level name, which will make the folder. You can change this to whatever you want. And this is the description. You can just leave that. This view distance, you can change this down to like free if you have a slow internet connection or you want loads of people in the game. So I'm just going to save it on free. Right, next thing you want to do. If you want this, I'm going to go new text document. You want to name it run, if I can spell, run server. You want to open this up and paste that in there and save it. And then you want to go again and rename it and replace the .txt with bat. If, uh, you, ha if you can't see the .txt, uh, txt you want to go tools, fo folder options. And you want to go somewhere on air. This here will say hide extensions for unknown file types. You want to uncheck it so then you can see it and then you can rename it. Now what this will do is run the server with this much RAM as the minimum and that is the maximum. You just want to leave it as it is unless you have a good computer and you want more people on it, just change it up. If you wanted to throw in that, just ask. Next thing you want to do, you want to port forward, so you want to go up to the top here and type in 192.168.0.1 and I'm with Sky, so it's going to bring me up this and I will be hiding my IP address if it ever comes up. And then you want to go into security and you want to log in, I would not know what your password is. Then you want to go into services, add custom service, you want to type in the name Minecraft, it can be anything you want. Yeah, doesn't look like it's going to let me type the whole thing in. So I'm going to write mine like that. And you want to go TCP dash UDP on both of them. You want to type in the port which is 25565 I think. Yeah, if not I'll just change it later. I'm going to click apply. It's going to add the service in and then you want to go into firewall rules and add a new rule and up here you want to find the Minecraft you just put in. You want to click always allow. Now you want to hit the Winky and R and bring this up and around here you want to type in CMD. You open this up and it's going to bring this and then you want to type in IPC, IPCON, 
FIG IP config. This will also be in the description, just in case you can't see. I'm going to click enter. And then you want to find the IP4. This IP B4. And you got this the I 192.68.0.5. You want to remember this. You want to go into here and you want to go single address. You want to type that in 168.0.5. You want to click apply. This is just port forwarding. Uh, you will have to do this if you want people joining from all over the world to join your server but you don't have to do it if you just want people in your own household on your own connection to do it. I'm just going to fill this in 0.5 and then click apply and then now you port forwarded you want to let's close this and I go back on this and then that's it your server's done Different done you have your server set up people Around the world can join. See, so it's just loading everything. And yep, two five five six five, and it's allowed a firewall again. See, that's it. You have your server made. Right now, if you want people to join the server, you want to go to Google, and then you just want to type in IP, and it has your IP address here. But this will obviously be blacked out because I don't want anyone seeing my IP address. So once you've got your IP address, for example, I'm just going to use the IP address 191270.0.0.1. Right, you want to send them this, but this won't be it, it'll be the IP that came up, and then you just want to add the colon and then the port, which was 25565. And you just want to send this to people, and that's how they connect. I'm just no, I'm not going to show you because my computer will freeze if I run the server in Minecraft at the same time. But anyway, this is a this is how you make a video. No, this is not how you make a video. This is how you make a server. If you would like an, a tutorial on how to do a bucket craft server, which is much better, you can run mods and everything. Uh, just leave a comment or just PM me or whatever, just saying you would like a video on how to do that, and I'll be more than happy to make one. And my mouse will stop working. Thank you for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe, it will be much appreciated and will encourage me to make more videos.